Let's take a look at putting a 20 inch wheel onto a 20 inch frame and showing the measurements that we're using to see how it all works. First, look at the dropouts at the base of the frame. Again, this is a dropout and this is a dropout. And going from the middle of that in this, this area right here where the wheel axle will sit, uh, let's just measure straight up on the frame to the point where uh, you can't go anymore which would be right here where part of the fender will mount so past that we can't go any further now let's take our 20 inch wheel and take a look put our 20 inch wheel on there axles going into the dropouts go ahead and tighten those nuts up okay now that we have uh, installed our wheel and put the axle onto the dropouts, let's again take a look at this measurement. So there's the dropouts right there going up and the wheel fits nicely because it's a 20 inch rim and tire and you can see that uh, it comes out to about 10 inches radius and that's because it's a 20 inch wheel so half the wheel goes into the frame. Next is a 20 inch BMX frame. Here we have the uh, coaster wheel installed onto the 20 inch BMX frame and again what we did is from the dropouts going all the way to the last point on the frame where we can't go any further right here you could see that that 20 inch wheel and tire has a radius of uh, 10 inches. Uh, 10 times 2 is 20. So this BMX frame can take up to a 20 inch rear wheel. Here's another old uh, BMX frame that's 20 inch. One that's uh, kind of like the one sitting in your garage for a couple years. Put on the 20 inch uh, coaster wheel on the back of this frame. Okay, now we'll measure it and take a look. Okay, again, going from the rear dropout right here, following the line of the frame up to the highest point where uh, we could go to, which would be here. You, again, you can see that there's plenty of room. Uh, 10 inches is where the uh, wheel and tire reach to because it's a 20 inch wheel and tire. So half of 20 is 10. The radius method works. Okay, now we're looking at a an old um, Schwinn girls frame it's 20 inch but to determine what size wheel we can use on it again let's take our measuring uh, stick here and put it into the rear dropout and then follow the line straight up the frame to the point right here which is up at 11 between 10 and 11 inches so looks like we're going to try a 20 inch uh, rear wheel. Okay, now just to measure it up, let's take our measure again, go from the dropouts, and then follow that line up the frame, and we can see that here's where we can't go any further, but we have plenty of room and of course the 20 inch wheel has a radius of 10 inches and the radius method works again. Okay here we have a 24 inch uh, stretch lowrider frame and we'll take our measurement again by starting at the dropout and following the line of the frame all the way up to the point where we couldn't put a wheel any further which would be right here and you can see that's about 13 inches so 12 inches right here that means we can uh, likely fit a 24 inch wheel so let's try that and put it into the dropout and then follow the follow the line of the frame up to the point where we couldn't have a wheel go any further which is right here 
and you can see that the wheel does fit nicely. We can even have fenders with that gap right there. And the radius is of the tire is of course 12 inches because it's a 24 inch wheel and half of that is 12 inches. Again, the radius method works. This is our hog rider frame, which is, uh, we call it a universal size frame because it will accept, uh, of course, a 16 inch wheel, uh, but it will take a 20 inch wheel, 24 inch wheel, and 26 inch wheel on the rear. And when you put the cranks on there, uh, your pedals won't hit the ground. That's why we call it a universal frame. But let's take a measurement right now, again, of the rear dropout up to the point where, please. Okay, we'll put the rear, the measurement on the rear dropout, follow it up the line of the frame to the furthest point, and this goes up to about 16 inches. So we know off the bat that a 26 inch wheel uh, has a radius of 13 inches, so we could use a 26 inch wheel, and if we can use a 26, we can obviously use 24 and 20. 20 inch uh, coaster wheel onto the hog rider frame. We'll take the, the measure and put it into the rear dropout and then just follow it up the line of the frame and we have plenty of room. We have one, two, three, four, five inches of room with the 20 inch wheel and this will work. You will be able to pedal on the on the hog rider frame. Now let's look at a 24 and 26 inch wheel on the same frame. Now let's put a 24 inch wheel onto the hog rider frame and measure it again with our uh, radius method, putting it onto the dropout and then just following it up to the furthest point. But we have tons of room here. Of course, it's a 24 inch uh, wheel, so we have 12 inch radius. That works fine. Now we'll take a look at the 26 inch wheel on the hog rider frame. Okay, now we're putting a 26 inch wheel onto the hog rider frame and we'll take a measurement. Again, putting our measuring stick onto the rear wheel dropout where the axle goes and following it up the frame to the furthest point which is right here, but we have plenty of room. And of course the, the uh, radius of the uh, 26 inch wheel is 13 inches and we still have plenty of room. Okay, here we have a stretch cruiser frame and we're going to determine what is the largest size wheel that we can put onto the back of this frame and to do that again we're going to take our tape measure and put it uh, in the rear dropouts and then measure along along the frame from the rear dropouts up to the furthest point which is going to be right here and that's going to be about between 14 and 15 inches. Okay now we're putting on the same stretch cruiser frame a 26 inch wheel. There we go and let's get our tape measure out and we'll put it in the rear dropout where the rear rear axle goes and follow it up the length of the frame to the point where it can't go anymore which is right here and you can see that the 26 inch wheel fits on there nicely and of course the radius is 13 inches and because we have a total of between 14 and 15 inches uh, of length we can um, know ahead of time that we could put up to a 26 inch wheel because half of 26 is 13 inches and we have between 14 and 15 inches of length to deal with. Hope that's clear. Hope that the radius method is clear to you now. So when you have your frame in your garage and you're wondering what size wheel you can use, this is how you do it. Upgrade your bicycle today at BicycleDesigner.com